Welcome back to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, bell notification. Do it all because it's awesome. That's, you know, what more reason do you need? So, today I'm going to talk to you about money implying something and the power of suggestion. I've talked about this concept a few times before. And many of you like these things because I bring out props, show you, you know, what I do, and, <clears throat> and you know, how it's affecting my current life and how it has brought me from, you know, paycheck to paycheck to having more than I've ever had before in my entire life. So, the props. Well, let's get into the meat, the meat and potatoes of the subject. Your mind is the most powerful thing about you, hands down, no question, end of story, period. That if you got your mind on your side, you got it all. If your mind is your ally, your beliefs are in line with it, you will have no choice but to you'll feel compelled to act in that direction. And if that direction is to destroy yourself, boy, it's going to be a rough road. If, but if that direction is to be this amazing, successful person, you will be compelled to act in line with that. You won't have a choice. Your subconscious mind runs 95% of your, of your life. It will compel you through urges, desires, emotions to act in line with whatever it believes to be true. And when I was sitting there believing that <clears throat> money's hard to get, paycheck to paycheck, the bad times are coming again, you know, uh, thieves everywhere, just this really scarcity and fear mindset, it consistently proved to be true because I was acting it out subtly. I put myself in positions that would make it true over and over and over again. And of course, it all came out to be true because actions lined up and then domino affected. And then I'll be like, oh, they're doing it again. Obviously, I knew it was true. Well, it's true because I believed it was true. That's why it was true. That's a lot of truth. <laughs> but, and when I started to change those beliefs and actually get in there and start changing it with like, hypnosis and using auto suggestions and you know dressing differently it became different and I started acting in line with the new belief structure more and more and more so first off hypnosis you must come to believe that something is true if today you don't believe it is true you could still change your mind and believe it is true and you do that through repetition and emotion over and over and over and over again. You become it. You dress like it. If you want to dress like, if you want to be a success, you need to believe you're a success. You need to dress like you're a success. You need to surround yourself with images that show your success. If you don't do that, you're in constantly telling yourself subtly that you're a failure, that you're not successful. So, Use the, the, the thing of success. Use suggestion. Use hypnosis. Use clothes. Use bedding. Use anything you can. Vision boards. You know, whatever. In order to prove to yourself that you're a success. Walk like you're a success. Talk like you're a success. Act like a success. And you will be a success. You must... It's the term fake it till you make it. But become it. And then, you know, feel it then be it. So, props. Many of you like this. As this, this helps a lot if you don't have a lot of money. One dollar bill. If you can't get one dollar bills, I don't know, man. You need to go get a job or something. You need to collect uh, aluminum cans and cash them in. You can definitely get some one dollar bills. And if you can't, if you don't currently have those, Honestly, get off your butt and start doing something, because seriously, um, action is where it's at, man. you got to do something. But anyway, this is about suggestion. $1 bill. $100 bill. They feel pretty similar, honestly. This is about 60 $1 bills. If you don't have $60 bills, you don't have $6,000, you can just lay around. It's perfectly fine. Get... One dollar bills. These are just one dollar bills. About sixty of them shouldn't be a problem, really. Not for most of us. And if it is a problem, then you know what? Start building it up. If you got five dollars, put five dollars, and then put some, 
and just keep putting one dollars, one dollars, one dollars, build up that pile, build up that pile, and one dollar bills. If I lay this over there on my desk where I keep it and just have it like this, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's just one dollar bills, right? One dollar bills, hundred dollar bill. On top, stack of one hundred dollar bills. No joke. You see, when you first do this, your mind's not going to accept it. It's going to say, bull crap, mine did. It's like, you're a liar. I know, you know, I'm on to you. You know, that's that's bull crap. I saw you do that. I saw you slip that hundred on there. You know, who you think you're fooling? But, <laughs> but you know, that's okay. Because right now it had a belief that money was scarce. So when I put like a thing that might, in you know, look like it'd be a pile of hundred dollar bills, it's like, Bull, you know, you're full of it, you know, you're a liar, but little by little by little by little, it changed. It finally, not only did it accept the fact that there was a pile of $100 bills there, but it wanted me to increase it because I started to truly see myself as someone who has a lot of money because I did this pile of $100 bills, right? Well, obviously, you know, it's ones, but it doesn't matter. Every time I wake up, the first thing I do is scan the room. Everyone does this. You know, this is normal. And what do I see? A pile of money. I walk out of the room. I do whatever I'm doing. I come back in. What do I see? A pile of money. I'm sitting there doing something else. Maybe I've been playing a game. What do I see? A pile of money. Because I'm telling myself that money is so normal to have around me. That money is so, they use the term abundant or, or, or I have so much that it's just lying around. It's just lying there. It means so little to me. I have so much of it that I just lay it there because you know why? I got plenty. I don't have to worry about it. I got money everywhere. And you know what? At first, it felt like a lie. But little by little by little, it changed to being true. It became true. And the more I accepted it, the more I dressed in nicer clothes, the more I walked like a success and talked like a success, the more I became a success. The channel is growing, but even before that, my income literally doubled in a year. Literally. And not because I got lucky. This ain't about luck. This is about action, strategy. I did the that took the action to change the mindset. And I started to take subtly was influenced to take action to make it true. You see, the most powerful part about you is your desire to be true to who you believe you are. If you believe you're a failure, you are going to act that out whether you want to or not. It will subtly influence you through urges, desires, emotions. It's very subtle. It never takes a break. The first time you're not looking, it's going to act it out. So, get it in line with what you want to be. You want to be a success? Great. Let's make that mind believe you're a success. If you want to be a failure, don't know why you want that, but if you do, then, we're you know, just keep doing what you're doing because society's good at telling people that they're damn failures and keeping them that way. But if you don't want that, if you want more, then dress it, talk it, look like it, put it, put reminders around you all over the place. You know, I don't care how far-fetched it may be, you know, Get a print out of your bank account where it says, you know, $25 because you're broke as hell. You know, change that period to a comma and then put a couple more zeros there. You know, you know, yeah, it's a lie, but who cares? Let's lie to make ourselves true because, because you know, that's the way it works. You know, hang it up on the wall. You don't have $25 in your bank account or negative $25. If it says negative, put a plus sign there, you know. The truth don't matter. Let's make it. Let's make our own truth. Make it twenty five thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and the more you accept it, bump it up some more. You know, um, in about less than a week, I'm gonna get paid the most money I've ever received at one single time. No joke. You see, I doubled my income in a year through doing these things, and now it's just the momentum is building and building and building more opportunities, more opportunities, uh, opportunity to make more, bam, took it, opportunity to make more, bam, took it, you know, 
because it's like I felt compelled to do so. I now own more investments than I ever did. I now own more um, appreciating assets than I ever did. You see, when you increase your income and wipe out, wipe out your debt or get it at least under control, you can now divert that money into something else, something that will grow over time. Yes, treat yourself right. Yes, you know, give yourself reward for your good, you know, good behavior and good success. But you also need to think about building that wealth platform. And if that means you have to invest $5 in the stock market, go ahead and do it. There's an app called M1 Finance I'm currently using. You can invest as little as, you know, you start out with 50 bucks, but, you know, um, after that you can put any amount of money. So, you know, some, day, some weeks I put in uh, 20 bucks just, I don't know, just because I want to divert the money to other places. Um, other times I put in uh, 100 or so, you know, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm just doing that, building it up slowly. And I, I, overall I have about 10% on returns on that one so far. But it doesn't matter, I'm just building up that platform. It's just excess money anyway. It's not like I, if I lost it, I lost it. If but uh, so far that has not been the case, and um, but it was constantly you know build it, build it, build it. But it all started right here. You got to get this straight first. If you don't get this straight first, don't even bother with the rest because you're gonna lose it. Believe me, I tried for ten years. You just lose it. You'll lose it. Do this first. If you don't do this first, don't even bother with the rest because you're definitely going down the tube. But if you get the mind straight first, you will have success. You, Because, you know, you'll be compelled to. You'll be driven to. Remember, $1 bills, $100 bill, or 10 or 20 or 5 so Whatever it takes to, to get you started, just do it. Have fun. Fan that, baby. Fan it. Because you know why? Because you're damn success, that's why. Fan those hundreds or ones, you know, we all know it's really true. But fan it, baby, fan it. You know, it's a little warm in here, got a fan. <laughs> because, you know, doing these things tells your mind constantly, look how successful I am. Look how much I have. I got so much damn money. It's just laying around. I got so much damn money. I'm fanning it like a rich person off, like, uh, off some of those TV shows. Make a fan and fan away. Because it um, it's definitely telling yourself that you have it, you got it, man, you got it, or girl, I don't know who's watching this, but you know you got it, dude, fellas, people, <laughs> subscribers, um, but you got it because you're acting it out, you're telling yourself constantly, I got this, I got this cash, I got that property, I got this, I got it. Because I'm freaking successful. And you will become successful. Fake it till you make it. Quite literally. And you know what? It's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun. Because while I may be playing around with a bunch of $1 bills, try fooling myself to believe that it's a stack of $100 bills, you know what? If I like went out and took, went to the bank today, I have more in the bank today than I've ever had in my entire life. And believe me, I have not skimped on treating myself, buying stuff I like. I have not. But I still have more than I've ever had in my entire life. And you know what? It's only growing. It's only growing. So, if I wanted to today, I'll go out there and, you know, this, this little stack of $100 bills will be a total stack of these, you know, these $1 bills will be $100 bills if I so wanted that. But... Pulling them out of the bank and just laying them, you know, literally, hundred, you know, put $6,000 on my desk. Why? For the hell of it? Yeah, I could do that. But, you know, why? I'm getting the same results with the uh, $1 bills. That's a lot less risk, isn't it? You know, because, you know, what would happen if, you know, someone stole it? If someone stole it today, I'd lose $160. If I change that to $100 bills, I'd lose $6,000. So it, I just don't need to put the risk out there to get the benefit. I could put one dollar bills. I could lose as many one dollar bills as I can afford, which is quite a lot of hundred dollar uh, one dollar bills. So touch it, feel it, see it, fan it, have fun with it, be it. That's how it's done. Congratulations, you just passed the threshold into new success. If you do it, you're gonna get the success. I can promise you that. 
You mind first, reality second. That's how it works. All right, till next time, I'll talk to you later.